This presentation is on understanding academic integrity. I'm Carolyn Brown, the Writing Center Coordinator and the Plagiarism Prevention Program Coordinator. I'm Laura Hardin Marshall, the Plagiarism Prevention Program Specialist. Defining plagiarism. Plagiarism is the misuse of any words, ideas, images, or other creative property developed by someone other than yourself. The most common misuse of source material is when the source's words or ideas are conveyed as if they are yours. This comes through lack of quotation marks, poor paraphrasing, and or lack of citation. Direct plagiarism. The most serious form of plagiarism is direct plagiarism. Direct plagiarism utilizes source material exactly as the original, word for word, without citation and or without quotation marks. Direct plagiarism can occur at both a sentence and paragraph level. Even misrepresenting a small section of your paper is an issue of plagiarism. Misrepresentation. If your sentence contains the exact words of the source, but without quotation marks, you are representing the words as yours when they are clearly not. And this also includes ideas as well as words. Even if you cite the actual source, quotation marks are required. This is one of the most common ways that students plagiarize, particularly unintentionally. Visual aids. Pictures, illustrations, videos, or other visual aids also require credit if they are not your own creation. It's also important to assess whether the material is copyright protected. Check the host of the material to look for use restrictions. If permission can be obtained or if the material is free to use, then it may be used with citation. Paraphrasing. In some academic writing, APA particularly, paraphrasing is preferred to quoting. Changing just a few words does not make an appropriate paraphrase. To conduct an adequate paraphrase that avoids plagiarism, not only all word choice, but also the sentence structure must be completely revitalized. Self-plagiarism. Submitting your own work for a different course or project is also plagiarism. Instructors assign projects with the expectation that the assignment will reflect what you have learned in that course and will utilize new ideas and views. Only when the work is revitalized and the instructor approves may previous work be used for a new course. Citation requirements. Failing to provide citation or providing inaccurate citation also leads to plagiarism. Citation is required in two parts of the essay. First, within the essay text, which is called in-text citation, and then at the end of the essay, which would be the references page. In-text citation. In-text citation is a brief note that signals the reader where the material came from. For APA, in-text citation involves three key pieces of information. First, the author or the editors. Second, the date of the source. And third, the page that the material is located on. In-text citation. In-text citation is required for every sentence that contains information from the source. An in-text citation at only the start or only the end of a passage doesn't credit every sentence. In-text notes are needed for each new sentence, including paraphrases as well as quotations. References. For the citation at the end of the essay, in APA this is the references page, full citation information is required. Documentation guides provide specific detailed rules about what information is provided, in what order, and with what formatting and punctuation. Those rules must be followed carefully to accurately cite the source. Citation issues. All sources that are used in the body of the paper must have a citation in the reference list. Furthermore, all sources on the reference list must be used and cited via in-text citation in the body of the essay. If a source appears in one but not the other, this is a serious oversight. Disciplinary actions. Cases of identified plagiarism may result in a failing grade or partial credit on the assignment, requiring the student to repeat the assignment, issuing a failing grade for the course, enrollment in the plagiarism prevention program, and an assignment of a written research project about the nature of plagiarism and academic honesty. Recommendations. Begin the writing process by stating your ideas, then add to that with research and support. Use quotation marks and credit the source author when you use exact wording. 
Paraphrase instead of quoting when possible while still giving credit to that author. And correctly identify and execute the expected form of citation as required by your instructor. Contact us. For more information on academic integrity or writing assistance, see our website or contact us.